Aries, welcome to your reading. I hope that this message finds you while you're in good health, good wealth. Hope you're doing something that you love today. If you want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel or book a personal reading. Links will be in the description boxes below or my about tab. And this is going to be a reading for the rest of October. So it'll be the 14th through the 31st. Um, let's get into it. We're going to take a look at your overall energy, your focus for the rest of this month, your challenge, your internal energy that will be influencing this situation, the external energy that will be influencing this situation, your fears, and the outcome. And we'll get you some advice at the end. The Fool. You're taking some sort of new journey, new experience, new opportunity. The Fool and the Page of Cups. I like it. I like it a lot. You're heading in a new direction. Kind of fearless, honestly. Seems like you're very interested in this offer, opportunity. This could be romantic. Who knows? But let's see. Six of Cups. It could be romantic. All right, let's get the overall energy for Aries. Appreciate you guys for all of your time. All right. For your overall energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Taking things slow over these next two weeks. Your focus is the magician, though. There's a reason you're taking things slow. Because you're manifesting. You're creating. You're connecting. Your challenge is the sun. Clarity, direction. Okay. Internal energies that are influencing this is the three of swords. There does seem to be a piece of this person's heart missing. Taking your time. You're healing, though. Could be a breakup. I don't know. The external energy influencing this is the two of pentacles. Your fear is the star. Your challenge is the sun, and your fear is the star. It's funny. The outcome is this beautiful Page of Cups energy. Advice, Page of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups and the Lovers, both in the reverse. Oh, what the hell? Your outcome is the King of Cups. So I was about to say, the Page of Cups is right under this in reverse. Six of Cups in the upright. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to ignore the bottom of the deck, but those energies do seem to have some sort of importance or maybe influence over your challenge, I want to say, with this heartbreak type of energy or this um, disappointment overthinking type of energy. I don't know. Anyways, with your overall energy, we do have the Knight of Pentacles, Aries, and this Knight of Pentacles is somebody that is definitely dedicated and focused. This Knight of Pentacles is taking their sweet time on their journey. They're just not in a rush. Who knows why? You're not in a rush. You're taking things slow. Maybe it's because there are things you're healing. Maybe it's because you're really focused on what it is you're manifesting. Who knows? I do see you in a very curious energy. Your advice from spirit with this page of swords is um, something about communication and understanding, you know, whether it's communicating with others or how you communicate could be important. Yeah, especially if you're the magician, right? The magician has many gifts and talents, but they definitely possess many gifts and talents, you know? So sharpening up on your communication skills might help you and your endeavors in some way so that you can get your point across clearly. Because with the challenge being the sun, there does seem to be um, 
potential difficulty with maintaining that clarity, whether you're communicating or whether it's your vision. Mm. Internal energy that is influencing this is the Three of Swords. Um, something that has disappointed you, you know? Over these next two weeks, you'll be healing it, looking at it, addressing it, maybe running from it. Who knows? We'll clarify. External energy influencing this, the Two of Pentacles. So, um, you're kind of, you're trying to make up your mind. There's something outside of you in your circumstances that is creating maybe a bit of hesitation or confusion. Um, something could actually be, in regards to like moving forward and manifesting, I do see like hesitation, but I think this hesitation has a great opportunity, whatever this is outside of you. This situation it has a lot of potential to rebalance you before you proceed forward at the pace you want to. It looks like you're intentionally taking things slow over these next two weeks. There's a lot of energy in like um, astrology at this time as well with the planets. <clears throat> So it could be good to take things slow. Your fear is the star. Fear is healing. Your fear is wish fulfillment. It's not making sense, but that is something that maybe going deeper into that healing, whatever this internal energy that's influencing you, maybe going deeper into it is something that you've been avoiding, something that you could um, potentially look into deeper. And I feel like you do because with the outcome, we have the King of Cups, so to me, this is you kind of facing your fears, right? Going that deep to heal whatever it is you're healing. It could be why you're taking your time, but there just seems to be something here that you have detached from or you are no longer a part of. Um, maybe an offer that you're no longer accepting, something you started rejecting, you know? You could have gotten rejected, who knows? But I just see you feeling a lot more free without this energy. It's like the stagnancy that maybe once was is gone. Ten of Pentacles reverse, Wheel of Fortune reverse. There could have been a lot of blessings being blocked, but now we have this Ace of Cups, Aries. So it tells me that you have a renewal. You have a renewed sense of love, vitality, you know, for life. But it does seem like you're detaching from something that did mean a lot to you or that once made you feel very safe. And that's just like, yeah, you're manifesting right now. What is Aries manifesting? What's this magician about? The Four of Wands, the King, Queen of Swords, sorry, and the Page of Pentacles. You're manifesting or trying to consciously manifest Stable opportunities for you. You're trying to manifest more money, um, more stability. And you're trying to manifest the clarity that does, funny enough, sh pop up in your challenge. Um, with this Queen of Swords, this is somebody that has a clear vision, right? The opportunities that they are exploring is something that makes them feel good with this Four of Wands. Something that makes them feel happy. Some of you are manifesting stable connections, somebody that knows how to communicate clearly, somebody that knows how to um, be transparent with you, somebody that brings something to the table as well, to a cup, you're manifesting new love. Um, what's this challenge about with the sun? We have the Two of Cups reverse, the Page of Cups reverse, and the Two of Swords reverse. So this is getting clarity on a certain situation that maybe you're no longer accepting. Maybe something just feels off with an energy you are dealing with over these next two weeks, and you're struggling to get clarity on where things are between you two, or like, yeah, clarity. The Sun, the Two of Swords reverse. And then it's just like, your challenge is maybe getting to a place where you're on the same page as this person or this opportunity. And that's just challenges to look out for. 
Um, what is this Three of Swords about? So the internal energies that are influencing all of this is the Three of Swords, and then we have the Nine of Swords Chariot and the Five of Wands Reverse. The internal energies is you desiring peace, you know? I think that it's difficult when we're a part of something or in an environment that is causing a lot of stress or chaos for a long time and then we choose to move on from it um, for ourselves to find that peace. Like it's not always an easy transition. So you could just be really getting comfortable or used to whatever you're detached from, you know. But internally, there's a lot of overthinking here. There's a desire to move forward and succeed and just like keep the vision right but there is a part of you that is adjusting to this piece and finding this balancing right balancing within self all right what is the external energies what's this two of pentacles about the ace of swords the emperor and judgment in reverse yeah i think that you're rebalancing yourself or rebalancing your energies um, and I, it, I don't know, whatever this external energy is, it could be like um, a father figure or just a more a male in their divine masculine, you know? This could just be someone outside of you that is helping you get that clarity that you were maybe struggling to receive or um, get with that other situation that you were dealing with. I don't know, someone might help you with their advice or their truth or their honesty, right? For you to kind of find that, whatever that balance is you're looking for. There's a lot of value in that external energy for you. This person could help you a lot. This also could just be your energy and actually you really taking the time you need in order to get back into your power or your, yeah, your power. What's this star about? Your fear. Your fear is maybe the past coming back around because something you've let go of with this Ten of Wands reverse, something that you've started rejecting that <laughs> used to feel close to you. Six of Cups reverse, Ace of Cups reverse, Ten of Wands reverse. It's almost like you're fearful of this connection healing, its, healing itself, you know, or them coming back or you going back to that old environment that was not feeling emotionally fulfilling to you yeah you just don't want to like take steps backwards in your heart and in your finances in your life your work life you're not trying to let the past come back you could be fearful of that maybe that's why you're in your head a bit but the outcome we got the king of cups the queen of pentacles and the three of wands reverse your outcome is a lot of a lot of your emotional stability and um, strength is coming from you intuitively knowing that something is going to work out. The Queen of Pentacles, High Priestess, and the Three of Wands reverse. It's almost like you're, you're finding this space within you where it's like you're letting the overthinking, the inner chatter kind of fizzle down and you're just trusting yourself, your intuition in the process. You're very certain that things are gonna be good. I think taking your time with this Knight of Pentacles, yeah, what's this about, Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, that makes sense. The Devil, the Lovers, and the Page of Swords reverse. <laughs> it's almost like you're proceeding forward cautiously because you know there's a strong tie here. One is, on one side of it, it's like very authentic, real, and loving. On the other side of it, it's very controlling and um, obsessive and just fear, fear-based, you know? With the Page of Swords in reverse, you are in the process of no longer giving this thing attention, whatever this is for you. You're in the process of no longer giving it attention, but you're taking your time because there's very, these are very delicate energies to be working with. So as you're trying to grow and progress on this path over these next two weeks, it's not that you're going slow, it's that you know what pace feels right to you and you are moving accordingly. 
with the advice. Ed Page of Swords is the advice. What is the advice? Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the World card, Wheel of Fortune. Your advice is to um, don't look back. Don't look back at whatever didn't work or whatever once was, right? Don't look back. But also don't be naive to not be aware of who's tapping in with your energy or who's trying to get you back, right? Don't be naive and like, just let things catch you off guard, but also just, just keep it more low key, right? The energies that you're curious about and wanna grow and explore, Move in that direction is your advice. Communicate with those energies, but don't, don't give attention to things that make you feel energetically out of alignment or depleted, right? A new chapter is here. It is the, the wheels are turning. And over these next two weeks, I think you're gonna start to see a lot of change. It's gonna be subtle changes though. I'm seeing subtle changes and delicate energies victory, adaptation, and power. You're getting used to it, Aries energy. You're getting used to this new reality, this new environment, this new way of being, or this new way of thinking, perceiving, existing. You're balancing the stress, the overthinking with success. Your intention is gonna be very important. Setting your intention, which I don't think you're gonna have any issues with because in your focus, we have the magician card. And that is somebody that they have intention and they know tricks. But like I said, don't look back, but don't be naive because it could be some tricky energies or sneaky energies, people trying to build with you for the wrong reasons with the Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Just stay on your P's and Q's. And inspire. Let, allow others to inspire you. And remember that you are an inspiration to others as well. It's time to let your guard down and start this new beginning, right? You don't have to protect your heart so much in this chapter. You don't have to protect your, guard yourself so much, right? Because your focus and your intention is not on the energies that aren't working. Your focus and your intention are on cleansing and moving towards things that feel good. So you're not gonna have to be so guarded. Trust your intuition. But Aries, this is what I have for you over the next two weeks. I think there's a lot of releasing, a lot of letting go so that you can get to where you want to go. I'll see you guys soon. Again, if you want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel or book a personal reading. Links will be in the description boxes below or my about tab.